a huge art supplies haul unboxing. Let's see what's inside. Hello everyone, I'm Caroline and today I'm going to show you what I got in this box. It may seem a bit weird that it doesn't fit on screen, but that's because this thing is enormous. It's over two feet wide. Get my tape measure. It is 19 inches high and five and a quarter inches deep. So what's inside here? Well, the story behind this box is that my husband likes to buy and sell boxes and he bought this one. And there was smart supplies in here. Now, I found this out and decided that I would have a little look and see if it was interesting enough to do an unboxing. And, ooh, I think it is. So I closed the lid, I brought it to my office, set up the camera, and now we're going to see what's inside. So let's check this out. You're not going to be able to see it all now, but we'll bring things up to the table as we go in because this thing is just enormous. Opening up the lid... And there you can see the trays on the top. They slide about. And just as a teaser, if we take this middle tray out and have a look. Ooh. There are other things inside. So I'm going to move this now away and we'll have a look, see what's in these individual trays to make a start. So here's the first tray. I'll give you a quick look, sliding it along like that. I brought my camera down a little bit closer so you can see what we've got in this tray. Let's check out the size on this tray. This is 18 by almost 10 by about one and a half. This is a really useful box. And the first thing is, whoa, look at these for vintage glasses. These must have belonged to the artist who used this. Reading Specs, London, R-S-C. Hmm, whoever that is. Oh, there we go. Got myself some trendy glasses. A flexi curve. I don't know if you remember these from school. I don't know if any artists use flexi curves now. We used to use it when you did a graph. You did dots on your graph and then to make the curve easier, you could bend this and then use it like a bendy ruler. Hmm. I don't think I'll have much use for a flexi curve, but you never know. And we got, oh, a little Peregamo Looper 3. Oh, I like that. I'll put it back on the blue so you can see. No, nope, you can't see. What can I put it on? Let's try taking it out of the shiny wrapper. See if you can see there. It's a really pretty stencil. But it's also got this really pretty fluted edge as well. Oh, that's really nice. I quite like that. And last in this big section here is a box of Ilford HP3 plate, hypersensitive panchromatic. So that's an old film type thing, I would imagine. Yes, open in darkness only, but it says nibs. What nibs are in here? Ah, they're not nibs. They were lying, they're cartridges. Oh, lots of pretty colours. Got some Schaefer Grip Cartridge 1, brown. Brown, lots of those. We've got an orange ink cartridge. A yellow one. Now, the only problem with these is I don't have the pen to go with these sort of cartridges. And then we've got these type with, put those down, that end on. Oh, there's a nice selection. Lots of different colours. Oh, that's a very nice treat. Oh, even a red one. I like red ink. Oh, I'm happy so far and we've still got lots to go. Right, we've got pencils. Derwent Graphic. Cumberland pencils made in England King's Own. Move those to there. More Cumberland Kings or automatic pen. I've never seen one of those before. We know it's an automatic pen because it says automatic pen on the handle. So, hmm, 
That's why I assume then you dip that into ink. Oh, it's got like little serrations on it. That's really unusual. Well, maybe you've all seen them before, but I've never seen them. Hmm, I could have some fun trying that out. Oh, look! There's an automatic one, an automatic three, and an automatic two. They've all got ink on them, so they must be some sort of weird dip pen. Right, what else have we got? We've got a standard dip pen. No make on that one. It's not rusty or anything. It's got quite a wide nib. Ooh, I can't wait to try all these out. And we got Stadler Norris Uni Points. Lots of these King's Own. And an Eagle Very Thin Scarlet Red. What's this one? Stenograph. I don't know what colour it is. I would imagine grey. Not sharpened. More King's Own. What's this purple here? Uh, just says France. More King's Own. Stedler Mars Lumograph and Eagle Very Thin again in black. Now there's some very impressive nib sharpening going on there. And that is another King's Own. Blue Graphic, what are these blue ones? A Very Thin. Oh, <laughs> that's definitely um, Very Thin because it's broken. That's a Stedler Norica. And a little pack of push pins. Right, so that's that one all done. Put everything away and let's get another tray. Tray number two. Right. <laughs> they are a lot of pencils. There's another big batch here. They've got nothing written on them. This person obviously used a lot of pencils. I wonder if maybe they were an architect rather than an artist. I don't know if you would distinguish them as different. I would have thought so. We've got a lettering stencil, UC4 pen too. Whatever that is. And a Weldon, Ro Weldon Roberts eraser. Triply. Hmm. We've got a multi-lith eraser. Oh, that's interesting. Brilliant for erasing very small areas. And another one. The Digby Ink Eraser. Mm. <laughs> I think that is pretty dried out and awful. What else do we have? Let's have a look at all these pencils and get them out and see if anything stands out. A China Graph, Royal Sovereign, an Eagle Cardinal. Lots and lots of pencils. Oh, it's a pretty one. What's this? This is a Stabilo All. Oh, brilliant! It's a Stabilo All and it's a red one. My latest favourite pencil is the Stabilo All. I got a black one and I was chatting to a friend who said they made white, uh, red ones too. And now I've got one. Oh, that's really good. Mine doesn't have that pretty green thing on it. Right, let's get the rest of the pencils out. What have we got? Eagle Cardinal again. A China Graph. Hey, ooh, Sun Pearl Bohemia Works Czechoslovakia. There's something stuck to it. And lots of clatter in with this box. Oh, a little tiny one. Uh, even smaller one with the rubber on the end. China Graph, Royal Sovereign. Right, so nothing new coming up in these pencils now. I assume that they always bought the same mix. Right, where should we go now? We've got some silica gel. Pop that in there. Hmm, what's that? I wonder if that's to put a nib on or something. It's a handle, so I would imagine, yes, yeah, a nib. Right, we've got oh, another one there. And this nib on this pen. Uh, any more dip pens in here? Nope, I can't see any more dip pens. So let's have a look what brushes we've got. Nothing on there. Nothing on there. Oh, this is a Windsor and Newton U2. And <laughs> 
I often find this little elastic bands around older things just corrode and go hard. This is a sable hair. It's a very fine brush. And I'm going to assume that this Stedler pigment liner doesn't work because it doesn't have a lid on it. Let's get a piece of paper. Not quite the right paper for the job, but let's try it out. Yep, that's for the bin. Right, what's this? Lino Deluxe, made in England. Oh. Hopefully you'll be able to help me identify some of these things, because I haven't got a clue. Right, so I'm assuming there is to make lines. What do you put in there? Is that a pencil? Oh, yes! I don't know if you can see. It's very difficult. You can twist and the little pencil lead comes out, I think. Yep, so fine. Oh, that's nice. So, got that in a case. And... I don't know if these go with it. I would imagine so. We've got different sizes. A four. And a two. And a four. And a two. And a four. <laughs> right, so I take it this person didn't like ones and threes or used them and broke them. There we go. I'm sure they'll come in very handy when I figure out what they do. That's an empty cartridge. And another little lettering stencil. The letters are a bit smaller this time. And a cartridge. Right, now we're going to go into this side. There's another. And another. And another you know pen stencil right i wonder if these pens then because this is a ah is it lino or you know you know i think so this pen there seems to be designed to go with these stencils right and that would explain why it's so fine because if i show you the size let's take it out and have a little look show you the size on those letters i show you the size on those letters they are tiny so you would need that like needle thick lead to actually draw through the stencil now we've got some of these which i'm assuming the bits then off our funny pen lots of little bits that's my guess another little bit another little bit right pop those there we've got some pen nibs check with my loop manuscript extra fine and a manuscript broad is there any more oh yes it's a whole set oh wow that one doesn't seem very well it's got a sticker on it and only some rings oh wow look at all those nibs it must be like a calligraphy set oh that's a very broad one Oh, that's nice. And lots of cartridges again. Oh, there's another one. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put those in. And oh, this. An art cleanser. Which I'm assuming is an eraser. Hmm. Let's have a look. So if we get my piece of paper, move my loop over there. Hmm, it may have been, but it's a bit hard now. It's taking the surface off my paper. Hmm, it's still squidgy, but it seems a bit harsh. Unless this is for ink. Hmm, possibly. So that is tray number two. Let's put this all back in and check out tray number three. Right, so tray number three, and this looks like a box of goodies too. Ooh, a broken elastic band. Right, we'll go for this side first. So we've got some drawing pins and what on earth is one of those? Does anybody know what one of those is? I have no idea. It's bendy on the one end, straight on the other. A bit like a palette knife, I suppose. A bit of metal. Oh, there's another one. So we've got two of those, whatever they are. No clue. And we've got some staples. Oh, we've got a magnet. <laughs> Look at that. Everything's stuck to it. That's a cute magnet. 
I'm going to move that right away from everything in case it goes anywhere near my phone. Right, so we've got this, mm, it's like a cork end on a, a nib. And a little mini pencil. You've got some Pelican drawing ink, Tinta China. Mm. There you go, so we've got some of those. Oh, it's a brooch. Hmm. It's a costume jewellery brooch, unfortunately. Imagine if that was gold and pearls and diamonds. Uh, what else do we have? All these little, like, cartridge replacements. You put them in and you can use your cartridge pen like a fountain pen. I hope this is focusing for you. And tack. Mm, some bits and pieces. Lots of these little nibby things. Oh no, I've seen something like this. It's rot ring or rot ring. Rot ring, I think. Oh yes. That is rot ring. Foliograph. So I've got loads of bits and pieces of this. I don't know whether I've got all the bits I need. It's got like a funny end on it. If I show you my handful of bits. I don't know what these are. Hmm. They've got like a so I can get it to focus on that. I don't think it wants to. There we go. What on earth is that? Hmm. Let me keep looking. There's a lot of amazing things in here. There's a lid or something. Right, so that's that side. Let's put those back in. And this side got more pencils. There's no surprise there. This person definitely had a thing about pencils. Oh, we got some pens. We've got a biro. This is a... Crystal Grip Bic. Let's move those there, give that a try. Oh, that still works. It's a bit like a biro, really. And we've got the pen here. This is a Sheffer. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. And is that a... Ooh, squeaky, squeaky. Oh, yes. We can use our coloured inks in there. That would be very useful. Sorry about the squeaking. If I show you there, you may. don't know if you can read Sheffer on there. But that's a Sheffer, so I assume so are these. Yep. And that one. Right, we've got three Sheffer pens. Very nice. And let's have a look. We've got this one, which is a Sheffer as well. Oh, Shaffer. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Now this has got a hole in it. What's that about? You can twist that. Ah, no, probably not. But there must be some sort of adapter that goes in there. Maybe we'll come across it. Let me screw that back on. And try pulling. There we go. Ah, let's see what it says. Shaffer F. That one. Ooh. I'm really excited about this box. I've just got no idea what's coming next. Well, I have in this little tray because I can see it, but what on earth's in the other parts? Now we've got, oh, I've seen these before. These are a magnet with a magnifying glass on. Very useful. Check what you're looking at and then stick it to something metal, which I have there. Right, another Digby Very Hard Eraser and lots of cartridges. I think, oh, there may not be. There's another pen that works. And we've got a, is that a biro or an orange gel pen? Oh, look at that. It's a luminous orange biro. And we've got another pen. What's this? Oh, this is a Waterman. Metal, blue. Ooh, very nice, very nice. Oh, I've got some lovely pens. I wanted a few pens because that way then I could fill them up with lots of different colour inks. And I should certainly do that now, unless all the nibs are different. All right, we got one of those. No idea. I'll hang on to it in case it's anything essential, but I don't think it is. So it's press 20 on it. No idea. Right, let's have a look. We got some... Ooh, that's a very broad dip pen. 
More dip pens, more dip pens. Another one of those really weird things. And that's a 3A automatic pen. Ooh, there's a bigger one. That's a 4. Oh, that's chunky. And it's got a really weird nib on it. I wonder if that's to hold masking fluid or something. All advice, must be appreciated. And we've got another crystal grip, which works. Oh, no, these are a bit jazzy. We've got JLD. So I assume the person who owned this had the initials JLD. And C gems, I think that says. I had to use my loop, it's so small. And are they twisty or. Nothing's happening, so I don't know. Have to look. Oh, this one's a biro. Which works! Yay! Okay, <laughs> what on earth is that? Right, that turns. And a little gap opens up. I'll show you there. I'm focusing more on the background than the foreground, but you can get the point. Oh, maybe people use those for art. I would have thought that was more. Something like, well, I don't know, engineering. Who knows? Right, so we've got some paints. We've got guitar acrylic, Cryloflow, crimson, acrylic green, yellow, ochre, lemon yellow, ultramarine, burnt sienna. Oh, nice selection. Viridian, vermilion, cobalt blue. And that's it. Another automatic pen. Or did I put that one down? No, that's a huge one. And more staples and some tape. We've got some Faber Castell Super Polymer 0.5B. Oh, they'll be useful. Like, whoops, I would imagine they fit into anything in here that needs nibs. And these are Faber Castell Blue 0.7 and Stedler Mars 0.5. A drill bit, as you do. A bit of nib and some more cartridges. Right. Now we can get on to the big box. I'm dying to get on to the big box. Right, I've just grabbed these haphazardly, as you can tell. And let's have a look. We've got some Stead Lamar's 2H12 inks. No, they're not inks. They're pencil heads. Um, we got some Georgian watercolours. Well, <laughs> we have two Georgian watercolours. Which way would they go? That way? I wonder if the rest are in the box somewhere. We'll find out. And King's Own Finest Drawing Pencils. Some of those have been used. And what do you know? We've got another box of King's Own. And used. This person really loved King's Own. Oh, what does it say? For draftsmen and artists and all who require a pencil of highest quality and perfect accuracy of grading. Made from specially prepared, highly compressed graphite in 17 degrees, 9H to 6B, and selected pencil cedar of the best quality. Ooh, bit of posh then. Right, Rony Art Cleanser. Oh, is that those rubbers or erasers again? Oh, yes. Oh, that one looks a bit more uh, soft, flexible. So hopefully that's got some life in it. So we've got one, two, three, four in there and one in the other box. So five art cleansers. I love that. Art cleanser. It sounds much more fun than an eraser. Right. Stabilo All. Oh, now are these... Stabilo Othello Swano, Swan Stabilo. Oh, a lot of names. What have we got in here? We've got Cardinal Pencil, and we've got oh, these things. Stabby pointy things. I don't think they are actually stabby pointy things, but it's what I'll call them. Oh, there's another stabby pointy thing. Right, so these aren't Stabilo Alls then. Right in here. It doesn't shut properly. Oh, technical drawing things. We've got some compass. Now, I think I've seen these used 
for masking fluid? Oh, I'll check it out. And if so, I've got something to put some masking fluid on with. That's good. Oh, little dividers. It's a cute one. Ow, stabbed myself. Little end off the compass. Another compass. Another one of those. Assuming um, masking fluid putty on things. And what's this with the black handle? Oh, nice. Right, so we got two sizes of those. Ah, I thought this was just a, a plastic tube, but I'll put this by the microphone. Can you hear there's something in there? Pencil leads, I'm going to guess. Yep, big stubby pencil lead. Probably for putting in the compass, do you think? Yes, yeah, in there. There we go, we can shut the box. Right, Blundell True Angle Drafting Square. Ah, <laughs> nothing in it. Oh well. Ooh, this smells of damp. Right, I'll go and get another pile. Right, I've tried to get all the stencils. There's one, those ones you put it down and you can draw your circles. It's called a Architect Radius Curve. Ooh. Oh, one of those. And a French curve. More of these little pen stencils. Ooh, that was not very really well. What on earth happened there? Ooh, I don't know if it's melted or what. And then we've got lots of letter stencils. Again, this Uno you know, outline stencil. Loads and loads of them. Boing, 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 boing. And we've got the non-flexible ones. I wonder if they stack. Yeah, I don't think they're intended to. Right, we've got more of those. What a lot of stencils. Another one of these that we had in the other box with lots of pretty little shapes on and another fluted edge or two different styles my hands are stinking this is all very dusty and dirty but just such a lot of fun to rummage through right i'm off to get another lot palettes we've got a plastic one and a ceramic one I don't make his name on that, but that's nice. Very dirty. I'll have to clean it up. And we've got another ceramic one. These ceramic ones, I think, are worth a fortune. Ooh, very nice. And uh, we got... That's an ice cube tray, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> I don't think that's for anything other than ice cubes. And um, we've got two stacking palettes. Oh, they're lovely. I'd like a whole tower of those. Wouldn't that be nice? But still, two's a good start. Right, so we've got some ceramic and plastic palettes. A nice cube tray. I'll be back with more as soon as possible. Right, this... Is my camera focusing? Doesn't seem to want to focus. I think it's all that whiteless. It's shiny. There, I think that's better, I think. Put that there. Perhaps it'll focus. Right, so this is the last of it. We got an empty box that did have a technical sales surveyor set and of nine cardboard scales. Supplied by DS Milner, whatever that was. But that's long gone. Right, so we've got some more paint. Oh let's open what should we do? Let's open this tub of paints and then we can put the paints that we find in this bit into the tub. So we've got Windsor Newton Designer Gouache, Zinc White. Any other Designer Gouache? Yes, we got a Spectrum Violet, an Ivory Black, Cerulean Blue, Light Purple, Ultramarine. Right, so that's it on the Designer Gouache. Uh, we've got Artist Oil Colour, Titanium White, Cryla Flow Acrylic, Lemon Yellow, Cryla Flow Bright Green, 
Payne's grey watercolour and a lamp black watercolour. And then what's your a Kryler, Ultramarine, Kryler, Yellow Ochre. Oh, they really like their Yellow Ochre. They've used virtually all of that. And a Burnt Sienna. Any more? And a Cobalt Green watercolour. They will come in very handy because watercolour is my preferred medium at the moment. Right, let's sort out some of these bits. We've got tacky glue, which will be lovely for my journaling. And this is Rony Kryler Medium Number no. 1 Gloss. An acrylic emulsion add to Kryler colours for glazing and thinning. Quick drying, colourless waterproof, renders powder, poster and watercolours waterproof in admixture. In admixture. Equally suitable for use with new cryoflow formula made in England, two fluid ounces. Then we got some indicator pins. Ooh, always useful if you want to indicate something. And we got a pencil. A lucky mail. Ooh. Not sure why it's lucky. And we got some more nibs that I'm hoping go on the rotting thing. More. Pencil leads, are they? They're white pencil leads. Whoa, look at that. I've never seen white ones. Grey ones. And more grey ones. A little pen thing. Empty packets. And paper. Oh, somebody's got some beautiful handwriting. Look at that. They've been practising. They put my handwriting to shame. I've got two Staples Technical Erasers. Mm, now we're down to the last two things. We've got this bag and this box. We'll go for this box because we can see what's in it. Oh, I don't know what that is. Just Right Made in England. It's got like a felt end. I wonder if it's some sort of blender. Mm, I'll have to look that up. Ah, we got brushes. Any mix on these brushes? Um, that one is Windsor & Newton Sable. This one is, oh, they're all very faded. Handover possibly limited. And this one Handover. And that one's just plain. Handover. Hmm. It's worn to death. Another Handover. Now did this brush come like this? Or has somebody given it a very bad haircut? It's a Roni's Series 164 Ox hair. It's very stumpy. Right, and that's all the brushes. We're down to my last bag. Right. What have we got in here? Let's empty it out. I may regret this on my nice cloth. Oh, it's not too dirty. Oh, look at these. They're like ceramic little pots. Yes, all three have number five on. They're nice. And let's have a look. We've got some dip pens. That one. No name on that one. No, that looks very long, doesn't it? It's a longish stem, but then very long nib. Let's see on my loop what it says. Westminster series. I don't know if you can see that through my loop. And we got, I take it that's the lid off a rot ring, possibly. It's a lid off something, 0.2. And we got more pencils. Oh, yeah, they're pretty eraser on. No surprise finding more pencils. Oh, I like that. I like red, so that appeals to me. Another Westminster series nib. And then we've got two pens left. Now, what are these? Because of the bands, I tend to think they'd be rot rings. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I think they are. Because of the nib there. Oh, ooh, two rot ring pens. 1.2 on the end, something like that. So there's one. And finally, another one. Oh wow, I did really well with this box, even though it actually didn't cost me anything. So there are some things I really wanted, like the Stabilo Wall red pen. A pencil and these ceramic palettes I'm looking forward to trying. The rot rings are going to be great for fine lining. 
The pens are going to be great for, for calligraphy because I want to learn calligraphy. My writing, my handwriting is shocking. And the rotring pens, I'm hoping will be, I've never really looked into them, but I'm hoping they're refillable. And that way then I can stop using fine liners and just buy ink because I think it's much better on the environment to not keep throwing fine liners away. I can top up my watercolours and my acrylics with these. I'm not sure about these designer gouache. I've never tried those, but they must be good if they're designer. <laughs> so if you've enjoyed this unboxing haul video, then please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and that way then you'll get to see all the other videos I do. I do a bit of an eclectic mix of art, a bit of everything, a bit of unboxing, a bit of drawing, a few tutorials and I'd really love to have you join me over on my channel. I'll see you all next time but until then don't forget draw every day and have fun. Bye!